What's going on guys? Welcome to Die Hard DeWalt. This is a channel dedicated solely to DeWalt tools. This is my 20 foot enclosed box trailer that I have renovated just to hold my tool collection. So it's mobile, I can take it anywhere, do any kind of job with it. But mainly I just leave it here in the yard and I do projects here around my yard. Um, whether it's building bunk beds or maybe I'll take it to a rent house and, and do some renovations there or we'll buy a new house and flip it. So this is a, an all-purpose trailer. I can use it here at the yard at work or I can take it home. Um, if, if my wife wants to renovate one of the kids' rooms, this puppy just goes straight to the house and, and then I have all my tools here at my disposal. So I have quarter tools, I've got 18 volts, I've got 20 volts, I've got conversions to run 18 versus 20s. Um, so, so I basically have everything in this trailer I need. I've got power, I've got, I've got heat, I've got fans for airflow, I've got um, compressors so I can run pneumatic tools, I've got charging stations, the whole deal. So I, I will give you guys a tour of this trailer here shortly. But the main point of this channel is just to, to basically review DeWalt tools. We're going to go over all the tools that I have in the trailer. We're going to unbox new tools that I get on the channel. So when I buy something new, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to review it. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to use it. And then you'll get to see it in, in future videos. We're probably going to do some tool battles where, you know, maybe I get a Craftsman drill and a Cobalt drill and a DeWalt drill. And we see which one performs the best. Um, I have a lot of friends that are Milwaukee friends or Milwaukee guys. They love Milwaukee tools. I personally don't. DeWalt, I mean, that's that's my brand. Everything I have in here, from my radios to my fans to saw blades, 90% of what's in this trailer is DeWalt. Now, with some of my paint stuff, I do have some Graco's and some Warner's, uh, but the Warner's are black and yellow, so I do like that. So, um, anyway, stick around. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm here in the tool trailer. Um, about to do some filming but it is super cold. You can't tell from the video, but it is freezing cold today. I've got three layers of shirts on. got my t-shirt, my hoodie, and my jacket. It's too cold to even put my DeWalt shirt on. I guess I could put it on over this, but I look like a snowman. So I went into the shop. I grabbed a couple heaters. Now this is a DeWalt channel. I don't have any DeWalt heaters. So I've got a Lasco brand little heater, a ceramic heater. And then I have a, a heater fan. I don't really know what that is, but I had one on the shelf. So I brought it out here. So we're gonna plug them things in and we close the back ramp door of the trailer and we're gonna see how warm it gets in here. And then once it warms up, then I'm gonna get into some filming, some, some other stuff, some better content. Okay, so here are the two heaters we got. This one is Alasco, it's a ready heater. This thing was originally $53.98, so I had it on sale on my shelf for $26.99. So I just pulled this thing off the shelf. We're going to hook this thing up. And then we've also got this Honeywell Turbo Force heater as a fan heater. So I don't really know how that works out, but we're going to hook this thing up and see how it works. Let's put that back up there out of the way. So we're going to get into unboxing these things and see if we can't get some warmth in here. Okay, so we've got our DeWalt box knife. You can tell it's been used just a few times. So we're going to start cutting these things open and see what we don't get. Okay, there's our little Lasco heater. Plug this thing in. Comes on all right. And it's getting hot. So this thing will probably just leave back here on this table. Move all my stuff. We'll leave it right there. That way it can start warming up the back of the trailer back here. Now, this thing, that's what I was really curious about. This Honeywell. I've never seen one of these before. So this one, it was I don't know if I got a price. Okay, originally it was $42.87 and I had it on sale on the shelf for $21.50. So, let's see how it works. Lay it in right beside this one. 
Oh wow, it's already hot. So we've got two controls for the heat and two controls for the fan. So, and it doesn't, oh, it's got a safety feature right here. So if you pick it up, it stops. If you push that in, it starts going again. So that's pretty cool. So if it tips over something like that, it's gonna stop on its own. So we're gonna move this one up to the front of the trailer. We're gonna leave that one back here and see if we can't get this bad boy warmed up. It's only 20 foot, so hopefully it'll warm up pretty quick. All right, we'll leave that one right there. We'll move this one up here to the front. And we will plug it in right here on this table. Sorry. There we go. Now, to really trap the heat in, I think we're going to have to close this door and lock ourselves in here. Okay, so now we've got the heaters hooked up. It's already getting warmer in here. We've got both doors shut. Now, I brought some stuff from the house that... Like I said, I always have tools in here and I need something at home, so I'll just pack up a bag. I do have the DeWalt, DeWalt backpack that I love to use. Uh, you can plug a battery into here and it's got your flashlight that comes on. It's got pockets for all your stuff. Love this thing. So I'll pack this thing up. I'll take it to the house for the night. It's got the handles. It's got the shoulder straps. Absolutely gorgeous backpack. And then... Uh, Hook it across your chest. Looks like I'm gaining some weight. <laughs> Definitely gaining some weight. There we go. We're hooked up, ready to go. Um, but anyway, I'll pack this thing up, take it to the house, do little projects around the house. Or if I got to go to another part of the yard, then I'll uh, pack it up and go across the yard with it. But got this thing. I was able to bring it. And then I had just another little bag of some stuff that I had at the house, doing little projects like trim and stuff. So We've got our um, 15 gauge nailer, so we'll add that back to the trailer. We've got a little 12 volt drill covered in mud. I had to get up under the house when this last piece just happened. I had some, some pipes bust and, and uh, covered in mud. So anyway, have to add that. We've got some batteries that I stole out of here. Another 12 volt. One of my DeWalt screwdrivers. Now. DeWalt makes their, their flatheads have a red top and their Phillips heads have a blue top. I don't like the red and the blues mixed in with my tools. I would rather just have DeWalt make pure yellow and black. I can look at this end and know if it's a flathead or a Phillips. I don't need the red to tell me it's a flathead. But anyway, I don't know why I've only got one in here. Got another little deal with some, some bits and some drivers. We'll add, there it goes. Got us another 20 volt battery here. So we'll see which ones of these are charged up. Like that one's fully charged. That one's dead. That one's got one bar. So some of these need to go in the charger. And then we've got our oscillating tool. So I do have the, the 20 volt oscillating tool here. As you can tell, it's all dirty and used. I use this cutting drywall on a regular basis and it's got it's just got all sorts of crap gunk to it. This is mud for me, drywall in my son's room, texture in my son's room. But I love this thing for cutting drywall. I also have what is that. I've got the corded version as well. These things are phenomenal. This is probably one of my favorite tools that I, I use this thing so much. Not this one so much, but this one, I love it. Absolutely love it. But anyway, so we'll, we'll go through this stuff that we just got out and put it back where it goes in the trailer. And then I have this box at the house too. This is part of the stackable system. I think it's like the, the Gen 1 stackables. I'm not sure. I haven't bought the newest set yet. I hate how they have a set. And then as soon as I get all those, they'll come out with another one. And I'm not going to go buy a whole other set when I've already got one that works just fine. But I don't even know. I don't think there's anything in here really. Just try some junk. Well, we got a few things. We got this is for uh, reciprocating, or our, I'm sorry, my jigsaw blades. So we got metal on one side, wood on the other. These things are super, super handy. Love that guy. 
got a couple pocket knives in here and some headphones and then we've got our rapid charger so other than that there's just some screws and some drill bits and stuff like that in here but i like this thing too because it's got these flip downs you can put them down open them up you can put your drill bits your driver bits and sort them all out in there and then they just uh well, there they snap back together and then snap into place up top and you got one on both sides so i love these things so we'll get this put back where it goes this is another one that occasionally i'll have some drills or something i'll pack in this thing and take it to the house with me but yeah we're gonna get these tools put where they go we're gonna get the batteries on the charger where they go and then yeah we'll just go from there okay so we're gonna grab all these batteries one two three and the thing i love about the 20 volts is you can charge the 12 volts on the 20 so this is my quad charging system i got the 8 amp on the charger it's the only one that's still charging all these are fully charged so there's a 2 amp there's a 3 amp and there's another 3 amp fully charged so we're going to put this 2 amp on there that's a 2 amp right yeah that's a 2 amp it doesn't say but it is Give them a second. Now we're charging. The cool thing is these 12 volts, these little bitty guys, they'll charge on here too. And there we go. Now we're charging. And this one, one bar. I'm pretty sure this one, it's got three bars, so it was almost fully charged anyway. So we'll just let these finish up. And then I've got a few more laying around. We'll move these back to where they go. on my face in here that's because my box is in the middle of the floor and it's not put where it's supposed to go but that's okay so these are all my charge batteries the three amps don't fit there they don't fit there either i didn't build this very well did i so i've got 18 volts i've got 12 volts i've got 20 volts and then i've got i love 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 these conversions it'll you plug it into an 18 volt and it turns it into a 20 volt so you just uh you drop your 20 volt battery i'm gonna set you down there you drop your 20 volt battery on there like so and click it into place and then you can go grab one of your 18 volt tools let's see i got a there we go we got an 18 volt recip saw i'm gonna lay that down like that and we're just gonna shove that puppy in there And this 18 volt works on a 20. So I love the 18 volt tools, the actual tools themselves, but the batteries are just so darn heavy. I don't like how heavy these batteries make the tool. So when you take this out and you put that 20 volt in its place, it makes the tool a whole lot lighter. And I, I don't know, I feel like the 18 volts are just as durable, if not a little bit more durable than the 20s. But I've got two 18 volt resets i've got 120 there the xr version and then i've got a corded one here i've got another 20 volt xr i got another corded here another corded there look how look how i mean this still works this thing works like a champ it's just um <laughs> it get it gets used uh, and then we've got another 20 volt there and then plus the 18 we have down here uh same way we're stocked with skill saws as well i've got 18s i've got 20s i've got 12 this is a little 12 volt right here nice cute little guy yeah 12 volt but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff cleaned up here's my um battery powered chop back i love this little guy just drop the battery in right here and she's good to go so that's that we're gonna put that on the shelf we have the same model here but this is in a quartered version this one doesn't take a battery and it's just a little bit bigger i think actually but i like to have this one around the trailer i like to have that one just to be able to move around the yard now corded stuff is stronger obviously 
and you don't got to worry about charging batteries but some stuff is just so versatile it's, it's just so convenient to have it to be able to go out in the field and not have to worry about running an extension cord so i mean i can take my shop back out almost all my tools i can take out because they're all battery powered even my nail gun and then we've got this chop saw here that is also it's the the 20 volt battery powered so i don't have to plug this one in and i've got the two of the 12 inches this is the this is a seven and a quarter here but um it'll still cut a two by six no problem but the two 12 inchers those guys they have to be plugged in no battery operation with them and then we've got our our metal chop saw right there and then we've got the table saw there this is our grinders we've got corded we've got 20 volt here we've got 18 volt there so we've got all the variations we've got our half inch impact driver this thing is an absolute hog absolute hog and then just plastic chuck drills metal chuck drills 18s and 20s impacts yeah all styles we've got corded drills we've got a another quarter drill here We've got a drywall gun there's one of the metal chucks there's our uh, jigsaw right there got more drills and more drills and more drills these things go fairly deep there's even drills behind the jigsaw back there and there's an 18 back there behind that one. so these things are all pretty full and then we got this is our die grinder i love this tool doesn't look like i use it very much but i do i actually do use it and then our oscillating tools again my favorite tool on the trailer this thing this thing is super super fun this is a 12 volt drill but it has these different chucks you can put on to get different angles so this is the main 90 degree or the yeah i guess the, the straight chuck and then we've got our 90 degree chuck here but um, yeah, you just you saw how easy that was to pop off. You just slide this thing back on, and I'm doing it with one hand. Probably not as easy to do with one hand. There we go. But we're on, ready to go. So I love this little guy. All the way down to our chargers. We got Dewalt phone chargers. Little charging blocks here. We got our portable battery pack so we can charge our phones out in the field. Takes USB laser cut discs or saw blades tape measures we got our 90 degree chuck goes in the drills but i mean we don't really need it when we have this 12 volt right here got the small radio got the big radio and then up front i think i have yeah i got the medium radio here look this guy's already done and this isn't even my rapid charger so this thing okay so this is a Graco it's a Graco paint sprayer but the cool thing about this Graco paint sprayer and I know it's blue and it looks really weird but look right here powered by Dewalt 20 volt so we grab us a Dewalt 20 volt battery and we slide it right onto the back of this bad boy and then boom 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 we're painting with dewalt powered by dewalt that is so cool i love that guy so this the front area is more my painting area now i am going to renovate this whole trailer completely so if you can see gets you a wide view of the whole trailer i'm going to renovate the whole trailer with dewalt shelves and all that kind of stuff but for now this is kind of my painting area i've got three shop backs in here for no apparent reason i've got one more there and then i've got two more down in the other shop that i'm not even using i've got two different sizes of the gray coat here um, i've got the big stand up that fits over a five gallon here i've got another one down there still in the box and then we've got the warner or the wagner i'm sorry the the flex io sprayer that thing's pretty cool i got another wagner flex here with the hopper up top that thing's pretty cool but yeah it paints and stains and that kind of stuff and then through here i've got i've got rollers and suits and paint and and just just all the different stuff we need for painting 
plus some. We got some more Greco power heads, more sprayers. There we go. We got our mud mixer right there. Now that is cobalt, so I need to get a Dewalt in here. We got a wet tile saw. We got some some dryer fans. Let's see. Just some staplers. I've got a Dewalt stapler around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is, but this is just a just some random stuff this was originally going to be the office to the trailer but then it just this trailer just kept evolving and kept growing these things are mounted they've got all the little drawers but see how they don't open so when you're driving down the road they won't open but you hit that unlock button right there and they open up and then you close that lock button and they're not going to come open while you're driving down the highway let's see this one's unlocked we we'll lock that but we just got different driver bits and stuff like that same thing over here Got another one on this wall, Dewalt earplugs. I don't know why Dewalt has orange earplugs. I wish they had yellow or black earplugs, but just so you can see, they are Dewalt earplugs. I love my Dewalt. Got our, our 20 volt fan here. There we go, nice cool air. And then this, my, my company colors are lime green and black. So that's where this originally started with the green and black. I will probably eventually get rid of the green and black. I like the two-tone, the green and black, compared to the, well, along with the, the black and gold. I like having both colors, but I may end up taking out the green and black and just leaving with the black and gold. But we've got our, our bigger compressor there. We've got a smaller one down here, which runs up into our water separator here and we've got shut off valve we can turn it off we got a regulator here we got a spare chuck here we can hook into and then i have a spare air hose in this bucket right here if i need it and then we've got the 50 foot hose reel but if i'm going to change out all the green and black i need the i need a yellow hose here and then i'll change all these fittings out i won't have the green fittings in here anymore so there's a lot of things that'll get changed up if we get rid of the green and black. But this this guy is in a Dewalt, which I do need to go get a Dewalt bench grinder. I just, um, I don't know. I just painted this one to look like it was a Dewalt. So I'm a little bit cheap, but this thing also, this drill press, this is not, this is not a Dewalt either, but I took it apart stripped it down I painted it so it would look like a Dewalt and it works great so over here I've got all my drill bits and all my driver bits it's not very organized I had my saw horses up here I never fully finished painting the top of this shelf they're not there anymore obviously but and then this is just kind of nails and screws up on this level up here and then we got caulking guns and then grinder discs and stuff. So my caulking guns are right here. This is all hole saw blades. And then we're supposed to put that up still, hook it up somewhere. This is all my pneumatic tools. There's a little bit of everything in here. Just whatever we may need. There's chisels and punches and wrenches and cutoffs. This is all my sandpaper and there's, a, there's obviously a Dewalt sander in there soldering guns, big jack polyurethane and, and epoxy and some of my bigger gallons of paint. And other than that, like there's, I mean, there's just boxes everywhere. This is a full on Dewalt socket set. It's the big one. And some of these, I don't know, this is all my putty knives, scrapers, hawks, that kind of stuff. So, got a little bit of everything there's our, our two routers up here two different ones got a hose reel up here retractable now these aren't dewalt but there's a i mean they're black and yellow though. there's a boss stitch stapler there's some boss stitch staples to go with it and then we've got 18 23 and i don't even remember what this one is but three different nail guns right there that's a roofing nail gun. Yep, that's a roofing nailer. So, and then like another drill and driver set. 
the different screws, nuts, bolts, and washers throughout these cases. These are all stackable. They're not all locked together, but you just put the little latches up and they lock in place. So see now they're connected. We got a floor jack. But other than that, yeah, we got, we got this planer. We've got another planer sitting over here. So we just used this one the other day. I like this one better. This one was more expensive. I actually, I don't even think I've used this one yet. I think this one's nicer though. Go down or up, whatever we want to do. Got all our router bits up here on the wall. So I think guys, that's, that's pretty much the extent of the trailer tour. Yes, I could show you back here. This is our um, our drywall jack. So we can take a piece of drywall and that piece and that piece and that piece all go together and put a piece of four by eight sheet of drywall on there and lift it all the way up to the ceiling and it'll hold it in place while you screw it in. And then we've got our, our chainsaw. Now it's not a Dewalt either. I do intend to get a Dewalt chainsaw and get that one out of here. I would like a Dewalt mixer and then I can get that one out of here. And most of my my uh, yard tools i mean they're just crammed in this corner so when i renovate the front of this trailer i'll do something different with these guys i've only got one black and yellow tool but um, it's not dewalt so they do have the dewalt shovel and the rake and the axe and the sledgehammer and and the trenching shovel all that kind of stuff so so eventually i will get only dewalt in here for that stuff and then this is all my testers my bolt meters and chalk line adapters this is to um put door handles on you just clamp this around your door and it'll drill your big hole and it'll drill your small hole we've got our construction calculator stud finders you know just all these little testers so yeah this is basically just a little testing rack got a set of impact bits just a socket set got our paint masks and then there's a there's a sawhorse back here. It's a, one of the big metal sawhorses. But yeah, eventually I would like to to take a lot of this stuff out of here and, and replace it with, with true Dewalt, like the the bench grinder and the the drill press. But until then, we we're gonna live with what we got. But anyway, guys, that is the uh, tool trailer. Anyway, guys, that's that's the tool trailer. Uh, pretty much as good of a tour as I can give you. Now, in the further videos, we're going to actually get into these tools, get them out, play with them, and do some reviews on the tools themselves. But for now, I just wanted you guys to see the trailer, see what I'm working with. That way, when I'm in here doing something, you kind of know the layout, you know the feel of everything. Um, and eventually, guys, if you guys grow with me, then, then we'll just really get this channel booming, and we can get some really cool Dewalt stuff in here. They have a Dewalt welder that this came out it's got the dewalt welding helmet dewalt welding gloves that's that's super cool and they they have the welding table this is a dewalt table with the clamp slots and and i mean they have dewalt clamps i've got a dewalt wood clamp right here but they have the metal welding clamps as well so maybe i'll take out that table where our compressors were at and maybe put the welding station right there mount the welder all that kind of stuff and then we can move all the the pneumatic stuff our two compressors our hose reel all that stuff we can move that up to the front where all the painting stuff is at and then i don't even know if they have i think they do they do have dewalt paint guns i've seen them at atwoods farm and supply um, so we're here in oklahoma i don't know if there's atwoods where you live it's kind of like a tractor supply store but um i have seen the pneumatic dewalt spray guns that would be something super super cool to get um but yeah, guys, that's about it. I, I truly appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I will respond to them. Thanks, guys.